everyone, it's Mrs. Gluck. I am here to help you a little bit with how to use your library card to get books from the library, um, even though you can't get real print books. So let me get started. So when you sit down at your computer, I want you to open up your Google search and put in West Hartford Public Library. Mine comes up right away because I go on it all the time. And the website, you can just go to any one of these. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to go to the first one and I'm going to go to their website. And um, once you're there, you can see where you can go to your account and get a library card. If you don't have a library card, you got to do this or you're not going to get any books out of the library, whether you want real print books or whether you want digital books. So once you get there, you'll see it takes you to a form that you have to fill out. And the form is just basic. It's the date, your name, your parents. Um, you can have your parents fill this out and um, that might be a better idea. Have you put in your address, your date of birth. You can also put your own in there and use their email. You can try the West Harbor Public Library, or excuse me, the West Harbor Public Schools email, but I'm not sure if that works. You have to put your phone number in there and answer some of these questions. You can say, no, not today. You don't want to register to vote because you can't. And yes, oh my gosh, you should get newsletters of what's going on in the library because my goodness, they're so interesting. So then you hit submit, and I think in the email, you'll get a library card number that you can then put into um, the computer when it's time to get some ebooks. So I'm going to go to children's and teens. I'm going to double click and it's going to bring me here. And I can navigate down on the left hand side to audiobooks and ebooks. And right now you can see all the different kinds of ebooks and audiobooks you can go to. I am going to recommend that you go to Hoopla because that's really. Um, for books for children. So I think that's a good place to start for you all. Um, so it says it's recommended. It asks you to have an account so you can make a little Hoopla account, but it does connect um, to your library card. So um, this is what I did. I, I went into the browse section and I wanted an ebook. You could get an ebook or an audiobook because you can get the same information for any assignment you have from either one of these. Um, right now, the fifth grade is looking at mysteries. So I thought, well, I'm going to look for an ebook and I'm going to put it in here that I want a mystery. So I put mysteries and then I hit search, please. And it comes up with all of these mysteries. Look at how many there are 1,673 results. So um, I wanted to see what I what was available. Um, you can scroll down a little bit. And I have to tell you, this caught my eye because this is a new series. And I want to make sure that, um, that I know about it. So I, I went on this series and I could see, oh, the best mistake ever. I started reading it. Some people count their blessings, but dog walker Stephen Nobel counts mistakes. Dog walker extraordinaire Stephen Noble can get a little anxious, but his habit of counting the mistakes he and everyone else makes calms him. So that could be a good one. And I also noticed that if I click on this blue link right here, I can see that, yes, there are other books in the series that I might want to, to try after trying this one. So I have to tell you, I went on to the best big mistake and I already borrowed it. It said borrow. So I borrowed it and it says returns automatically on Friday, June 5th. If you finish it beforehand, you can return it early and get something else out. I think it's easier to have only one or two ebooks going at a time because I get confused sometimes with the different storylines and the characters. So I think it's better to just have one out, finish it and get a new one. And that way you're not holding any books that someone needs to read right away. Because if you have a book, then another person goes to get it and it will say it's not available. And I'll show you how that looks. So if I'm in here in everything or mysteries, you can see that some things are available and some things are not. 
Um, and you can see it. Let's see what's a popular one. Let's see. Is this one? Nope, it's available. It says borrow. If it's not available, it will say put a hold on it. And if you want, you can put a hold on it. And when it comes in from somebody returning it, you'll it'll come right to your email and you can start reading it. So I've done that a couple times and I get like it's like somebody handing you this beautiful book to read. So I do love that about using Hoopla. All right. Let's see um, if there's anything else you have questions about. I want you to let me know. Um, and so here's my book. It's ready for me to read. I'm kind of excited about it. And um, you have to read it on a device. So um, you can get the Hoopla app on your phone uh, or your iPad, and it will sync with the computer. And you can get your books from here, and it will be there when you go to sit down and read it on the, on the um, device. All right, so if you have any questions, please let me know. I really enjoyed doing this little story, this little video for you, and I hope it helps you to get more books in your hands. Bye.